Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Worker Studio. In this tutorial, we will talk about how we can create isometric renders in Enscape for SketchUp. So this is the project that we have in here and it doesn't matter how it looks like. We only want to see how we can create some isometric render from this project. First of all, you need to click on the minimize in here, come to the SketchUp environment. Click on this part of your job and turn on the views option in this place. If I can find it out, views in here and move it to this place. So first option name is the uh, ISO. So if you click on the ISO metric, now you can see this view of your job and it's not really suitable for our render. So what we should do, we should click on the uh, camera and change it to the parallel projection and rotate our job a little bit, something like that, and click on the paint bucket. And right now in the SketchUp environment, you can click on the scenes in here and add your first scene like that and click on the create scene. Don't pay attention to any type of error or questions, only do this job and try to use it in the quick way. So it takes a bit of time because my rendering engine is on and sometimes it takes a bit of time to create new scene for my job. So. I'm going to look on the uh, SketchUp environment in here and my first thing created in the uh, SketchUp. So press F on your keyboard and before you click on the scene number one like that, you need to change the uh, projection. So click on the projection in here and change it to the orthographic projection. If I click on it, I can see this type of isometric render for myself. Now time for the rendering, so I'm going to click on the save frame, click on the visual setting, move my visual setting to the left side. As you can see, when I change my projection to the orthographic, now I don't have any type of field of view or focal point or motion blur. So I'm going to click on the atmosphere and try to use auto contrast mode in here. And now it's much better for my job. As a matter of fact, if I change my style to the white mode, now I can create some simple model of the uh, design details, but it's not really suitable right now. So I'm going to increase the outline beside it. For example, 22% is enough for it. You can increase the rendering. It's not necessary right now. And if I play with the exposure, I can change it like that. 50% is good. Click on the image bar. If you want to create warm rendering, you can reduce the color temperature. And if you want to increase it, you can do this job. 7000 Kelvina is enough. Saturation is about 102. Motion blur is zero. Bloom is not really important. Lens flare is not really useful. You can increase the Vignette to create some graphical effects, but it's not necessary. I try to add it like that. Chromatic operation is zero, a sky option is not really useful, atmosphere is not really helpful, but in the shadow sharpness, you can reduce the shadows and create some faded out shadows for your 3D model. You don't have any trees or vegetations, so wind option cannot be really effective, but ambient brightness can be really helpful in these type of projects. So. When I increase the ambient brightness, all the places which face with the sunlight will be increase the lighting in my interior design. So 88% can be good. Click on the image bar. Everything is fine. Come back to the main bar. Everything is checked out. You can increase the rendering quality from high mode to the ultra mode, but it completely depends on you and how you want to use it. I want to increase the outline to see better detail. Rendering quality on the ultra mode and click on the image bar, everything is fine. Close visual setting. So I'm gonna hold shift in here and right click and change my cursor like that. And now I can change the time of the day very simple and easy. This work can be really useful for people who want to show the sun angle and effect of it on the building or interior design. I think something like that can be good or maybe some type of sum from these part of my job. If I hold Ctrl plus U and I, 
I can change the uh, sun rotation. Very simple and easy. So try to use it in some good value. Some type of shadow and surfacing like that can be good. And I'm going to click on the uh, screenshot in here. Select my desktop. Number 5. And press save. As you can see, we create this isometric view very simple and easy, completely useful. And you can see the sample of it in here. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, you can share it with your friends. Like and subscribe, don't forget it. And goodbye.